that's a spicy meatball. I mean, prawn. Fiery prawns are that good, they should be illegal. Mm. I'm Shuey and in this video I'm going to show you how to grill some fiery prawns and chorizo. And a creamy aioli that's going to knock your socks off. Mm. So just sit back, grab a drink or two and let's get into it. For this recipe we're going to be needing some prawns. Removing the shell, yes even the tail. Now you may think that looks fancy but it's just annoying when you're trying to eat it. I don't like eating it and I definitely don't like peeling part of my prawn once it's cooked. So first up we want to humanely and gently rip off its head and then just removing the shell. Next up we want to devein it by slicing down its back and once you slice it open inside there is going to be a little black digestive tract. It's full of grit, get rid of it. It's annoying to eat the prawn with it in it just as much as it is to eat a prawn with its shell on. Then just pop the prawns into a Ziploc bag with all of this stuff. Oh, and some SPG, or salt, pepper, garlic. Sergeant seasoning on board fraction. Enemy acquired, preparing to salt. <laughs> Enemy advancing, reloading with pepper. <laughs> they just won't stop, finishing off with garlic. <laughs> Squeeze out the excess air, seal the bag up, and shake it all up. And then just put the prawns aside for 30 minutes in the fridge. Now, Slice up your chorizo at roughly two centimetre thick pieces. Did you know Australians don't actually say throw another shrimp on the barbie? We are making some spicy finger food today so we best have some soothing creamy aioli on the side. First things first, we need all the ingredients at room temperature. Add some egg yolk and some garlic to a food processor and then give that a good spin until blended. remembering to turn it on. Then grab the blender when you realise one of the kids broke the food processor and doesn't want to own up to it and give that a good blend. Now while it's still running we're going to add a teaspoon of oil at a time until it thickens. And then we're going to add the rest of the oil in a really slow thin drizzle and this is going to take about a minute or two. Now we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients and we're going to blend this until it's smooth like my head. Well we had a failure. Obviously I should have been using a food processor and that is what's known as split aioli. It hasn't formed. So let's fix it. Going to start off with one egg yolk in a bowl and we're just going to whisk it and we're going to slowly add our mixture into it. Just a little bit at a time. And now we have the proper consistency of Aioli! And just pop this into a non-metallic container and into the fridge until needed. Citric acid reacts to metal, so hence why I said a non-metallic bowl. It's skewer making time! Grab a wooden skewer that's been soaking in water for at least an hour and stab it through the thickest part of the prawn. Now grab a piece of chorizo and add that to the party. And then stab that through the tail of the prawn and hold it all together and place it on a wire rack until each prawn has a date with a piece of chorizo and a stick up its bum. Just like that. Way too easy so far. Now we're just going to put the skewers in the fridge until we get the barbecue ready. Or don't and risk eating spoiled seafood. It's totally your call. Today I'm going to be using my Weber Go Anywhere or GA as they're known and I'm going to be pairing it up with my 100ml riser I grabbed from Rub and Grub because I want to be cooking over direct heat today and I'm going to be opening up the bottom vents to allow as much airflow to the charcoal as possible. Then I'll half fill a chimney starter with lump charcoal, light it up once it's fully ashed over, I'll dump it into the GA. Then, using an old pair of tongs, I'll spread out the charcoal so I get an even heat. By using a riser, we lessen the risk of burning the food. If you don't have a riser, you're just going to have to turn your food a little bit quicker. Prawns don't take long to cook and the chorizo is already cooked. All we have to do is grab the wire rack with the spicy prawns and put it over the charcoal. And we'll let these cook away for two minutes. Then we're going to flip them all at once. All at once, you say? Well, yes, we need to. That way they all cook the same. It's been two minutes, so we're just going to add another wire rack and we can flip them. How easy was that? We flipped every prawn at the same time. Now, don't overcook your prawns or they'll be tough, chewy and dry. And we don't want that. We want them to be moist. Smacked. Today we are cooking with a high direct heat and all up these prawns are going to take about four minutes to be fully cooked. Of those of you who love to use my beer time, you're looking at a one beer cook. Cheers. Who are we all trying to kid? We all know you're going to have two or three beers while cooking these. How do you know when your prawns are done? They turn pink. Yep, it's as simple as that. These aren't getting any pinker, so they can all come off the heat at exactly the same time. 
how good is it using two Y racks? Now, if you had a lot of people to cook for, now's the time you could throw on another batch. Now, serve these up with the aioli and be happy that you're serving perfectly cooked prawns. And you never had to mutter the words, throw another shrimp on the barbie. Did you know Paul Hogan, or Crocodile Dundee, did that ad back in the 80s purely to help tourism in Australia? Spicy prawn chorizo and aioli. What more could you want? 